Good morning, Wild Wild World. It is a windy day outside. Whew. Well, I've been messing around with this, and uh, I've got myself a green towel to try and rig up on my bed to uh, get there and get that stuff set up. And I got various electronical things on my bed. I got my box for my microphone that I have set up now right there. And then I've got some tripods or cameras that didn't work out, some Bluetooth cases that didn't pair with my iPod, books that I'm working on for papers. I'm already read them. And yeah, my gimbal and stuff. Electronics everywhere. I need a nice little shelf. Actually, honestly, if this bed just wasn't here, that'd be very helpful. I could put like another chair in there and then like shelving all along in here to organize stuff. That'd be cool. Dinner. There we go. Browning their meats. Look at that, brown pretty quickly. Very nice. Gonna make some meat sauce to go with some uh, spaghetti, but I don't think it's normal pasta spaghetti. It might be vegetable pasta. Whatever that means. Hmm. Huh. So weird. It's really windy today, but like, it's also cold. I don't know. I just don't know. It's really strange. But uh, I need to get outside a little, so I'm gonna kick this soccer ball around some more. Whew! What windy day! trying to see how many bounces we can get. Terrible. This is why I never played high school soccer. <laughs> that wasn't very cool. I can only do one. My arms are like noodles. I don't think I can go up in between these rungs. Look how much space is between them. My head seems similar <laughs> with it. I can still ride this thing though. Woo! Yeah. Having the real fun. This is what real adults do in quarantine. Woo! This is what happens when I don't go outside for so long. <laughs> I would say we could play in the sandbox, but that's disgusting, and I don't think New Santa's been put in there for at least 13 years. Windy! Sounds a kind of bit terrifying around here with all these trees. Ew! There's a worm underneath this area of pain. Oh! Just kidding, that doesn't work. But, uh, there is this bit of paint here that's like part of the ground now. Ugh. As you can see, filled up some of it. Interesting. I assume it's from when this was painted. Because it's the same color. And yet, I can't remember when this was painted, to be honest. But look at our lovely rock ocean here. Some people say it rocks. Other people say it looks pretty solid. And here... We find my mom's precious glass globe. The only thing is it's not really anchored in there. Maybe it is now, but we've broken like th three to five of these. And when I say we, I mean mostly nature, but definitely Ben and I have been responsible for some of it. I'm not sure when this turned into a, a yard tour, but uh, I'm just kind of rolling with it. As you can see up here through the hurricane forest areas, we have a little rope that used to be a tire swing. I don't know 
what it is, if it's like the sound that cleats make or how they feel when you're walking around, but they kind of make me feel like, rough and mean. I guess it's because soccer is such like a contact sport or I made it a contact sport. It's kind of a physical person in sports. I use my body to get an advantage on the ball, not on people, that'd be me. Though I guess people are involved in playing the ball. Anyway, back to the tire swing story. So, story of the tire outside. Um, it was, it used to be a tire swing. And uh, the reason why you see no tire swing is not just because it's old, because one day back when we were in, oof, I haven't even been like elementary school before we went into high school, um, some kid in the neighborhood uh, was going around and like vandalizing everyone's property. And so he cut down our uh, tire swing and tied it in a knot. And uh, it's kind of hard to get it off. So we've never been able to. So yeah, it's interesting. But uh, as you can see, we got some cool stuff in our yard. Uh, stuff that we were going to play on when we were little. We have a Noah's Ark. And actually that Noah's Ark was from Amish country. And if you don't know what Amish country is, just look it up. A-M-I-S-H country. Um, it's a really cool place. It's close to where I live-ish. I mean, I guess it's not really that close, but uh, we got we bought it there and they built it. Uh, so it's really cool. We've had that for a long time. Um, it's interesting, had a lot of fun on it, um, but you know, don't really use those things much anymore. But yeah, it's been an interesting little story time, little show you around the yard, have some fun outside day. So, you know, that's about it. If you have any other cool stories about your childhood uh, yards or what you got there, any fun stuff you can do outside, let me know. Love to hear about it. So, whatever you're doing, wherever this finds you, I hope you stay good, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow.